Okay, now I'm going to shut the loads off. This is 750 watt load. I'm going to shut them off and see what's going to happen. As soon as I shut them off, the first thing that is going to happen, the extra power that we are generating is start charging the battery. When the battery gets charged up, if you take a look at right in here, the more the battery getting charged up, we have extra power and then it's going to start dumping out to the dump load that we do have. Again, all of this is a resistive load. It better you use the resistive load, not some sort of the motor or uh, inductive or capacitive load. Now we can, uh, I do believe that we are done. Let's just go through details of this dump load, how this dump load does work. The dump load that you will take a look at inside this box, I do have four relay. I have five load. The first load doesn't need a relay. It's all the time there. The minute that he hit to the 14 volt, the SCR is a start turning them on. But the other four relay be controlled with this morning star uh, relay controller that I programmed them. The first one is going to come up at 14.2 volt and it will goes off when the voltage reach to the 13.9 volt. Second relay is going to come up at 14.4 volt and it will goes off when the voltage get to the 14.1 volt. This is off, this is on. I do have all of those information in here too, in case if you want to take a look at them. Uh, I thought I put them right in here somewhere. It shows you the range, it doesn't show the voltage. It does not show us the voltage range. I might add that one later on. But how did I, how do I monitor that one volt? That one volt is being very easy to be monitored. As you see right in here, I use a Zener diode and one resistor. This Zener diode for me, since that I want to control between 14 to 15 volt, one volt, I use this Zener diode 14 volt. If you decided to use 13.6 volt, Use a Zener diode 13.6 volt. Then it's controlling between 13.6 volt till 14.6 volt. If you want to do it between 12 to 13, use a Zener diode of the 12 volt. And then your control is going to be between 12 to 13 volt. It's just do based on the type of the battery that you do have. This battery are capable of the voltage goes up to the 14.8 volt. So I set them up at 14 to 15 and I explained why 15, not 14.8 later on. <clears throat> so we are done with this. Now the, this uh, relay, that one volt that I do have right in here being generated, it goes to the input of this relay. This relay made by the absolute process uh, instrument. Can, can you show this thing? And that is triggering the SCR to come on and how often to coming on and how long to stay on. So this relay, I bought this relay through the internet. You can buy them as you see the name right in here. And this are, I bought them, I think each one was about 15 to 60 dollars. I bought two of them. The heart of the system is gonna be this SCR right in here. This SCR is two SCR in a two different direction that you can take in care of the, the whole full cycle, positive and negative cycle and the uh, rating on it is gonna be 240 volt and 45 amps. So I can use this system right in here uh, for the load up to the 10,000 watt. I just need 5,500 watt. So I bought this, this one again through the internet for $100 too. It's working very good. You need to elaborate a little more how these two SCR that they are in a parallel and install inside this metal box and above this heat sink they've been driven to driving those scr we have to drive the gate of them with a current source we actually monitoring the voltage of the battery and in this scenario our dump load be monitored with one of the two battery not both of them i just monitor one of the two battery voltages when the voltage get between 14 to 15, the, uh, I need to have a piece of equipment to change the voltage to the current and drive the gate of the SCR. It's going to be the relay that is inside this box. I showed you guys before, but I just have another one of them right in here. It's this relay. This relay is translating the 1 volt that I do have, 0 to 1 volt, to the 1 
to 1 milliamp till 20 milliamp with a voltage somewhere around 18 volt and is applying them to the gate of the SCR so if I do have 1 volt extra it means I am very close to the 15 volt battery voltages this is going to put a 20 milliamp current out with the 18 volt and causing the SCR to be completely on and during that period I'm dumping about 5500 watts and the less voltages that I'm going to have in the input of this relay, the less current is going to put out in the output of the relay. So the SCR is going to stay on a shorter period of the time. Again, that is very important to mention. I'm, for the dump load, I just monitor one battery, not both of them. So dumping the load is happening right after both batteries got fully charged and start the voltage of the battery start raising above 14 volt that will be translate to the current and the current is going to driven the uh, SCR and SCR start dumping the load so uh, to turning on the dump load the voltage of the battery must be above 4 all the system that is right in here if it fail this macro inver this inverter right in here has a feature that in case if the light bulb goes up if the load goes bad if this line get disconnected we still have another safety in a place as you remember that i told you guys this macro inverter or any great high inverter are very sensitive to the frequency the minute that the, the you can set the threshold what threshold do you want it to the minute that the voltage goes 2 volt, in this scenario is 2 volt because this is a 24 volt uh, system is 2 volt if it was 12 volt system is 1 volt if it's 48 volt system is 4 volt when you set up your threshold for that voltage for instance you set it up at 28 volt the minute that it reaches the 28 volt 2 volt above 28 volt it's shifting the frequency from the 60 hertz to the 60.6 and that is causing the inverter to go off. When they go off, they stay off for at least five minutes. They're checking the voltages to make sure it's around 240 volt. It's checking the frequency to make sure they are 60, somewhere between 59.3 till 60.5. It cannot be anything beyond this range. Again, 59.3 till 60.5 hertz. Anything beyond that, the macro inverter will not, or any great time inverter will not going to come on. If the voltage is correct and the frequency is correct, after five minutes they're going to come on and they start generating the power for you. Now, to do so, we are artificially going to get rid of our load, and then you guys see that the macro inverter they will going to go off, and I show you the frequency that is built shifting, causing the macro inverter to goes off. Again, the threshold that I set up, I put 28. When it hit to the 30 volt, it's shutting the macro inverter off. The frequency is stay at the 60.6 till the voltage goes 2 volt below the threshold. It means I have to go less than 26 volt till the frequency get back again to the 60 hertz. After that moment, it's going to uh, inverter the uh, great high inverter, the checking to make sure the frequency is correct, the voltage is correct, and they're coming up. I'm going to get rid of my load right now. Come in here, let, get a shot of this. Right now, it shows the frequency is 59.9. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my load. And as you know, I don't have any real load. All is a dump load. I'm going to get rid of my dump load. And let the voltages to raise. And then you will see what happened for frequency. Let me just get rid of this. Okay. Rid of this. Maybe this is not have a good resolution to show the frequency. The frequencies are this shape. But let me just get a better piece of equipment. Maybe that uh, fluke right there is going to do better job for us.